All right, we're back. We are headed to our place. We got enough um, ebony ingots. So we should be able to craft this armor. My new companion here. And I don't know how long I'm going to keep a companion. Because they really kind of get on my nerves. But the good thing about her is that there's some deer right here. Usually is. Sorry, guy. It's you or me. Got ourselves two meals. See, doesn't the Nordic set look cool? That's why I like the Nordic set. Uh oh. Yeah, I was thinking I should have picked up the venison before I lost the freaking deer here. Because I always lose the deer. There it is. Alright. Now, where did my horse go? There we go. Yeah, because I think it's, that's why I'm thinking it's the elven bow, or the elven set, so I should be able to upgrade it twice, but the uh, Nordic bow just looks so much better than the elven bow, and then the sheath too, or the quiver, but you know, once we get to glass armor, we're going to have to do this all over again, uh oh. Ooh, one shot? No. Three meals. There might be another deer over here, too. No, there's this wolf. You don't want no, no part of this wolf. You don't want no part of this band. I can't believe he's just standing there. I guess I'm not in his zone of territory. I wonder who that other person was at my wedding. Oh, the chickens spawn back over here. That's good. About to kill me some chickens. And there could be another deer over here on the right. Sometimes there's one over there. There he is. And a bunny. Yeah. 
He hit you. Well, I got plenty of leaks, so I'm not going to go rob a niece for her leaks. And I haven't seen the hired thugs. And all this stuff is respawning back. Because I don't think the, the hired thugs come after you a second time, after you kill them the first time. I could be wrong. Oh no, not, not the bunny ring. No, I can't hit this damn thing even if I wanted to. We're on a mission. <clears throat> Hunger again. Back to our spot here. Could be another deer up here somewhere. Wonder if those guys spawn back again. Not yet. That didn't take that long. And we ended up getting three meals out of it, too. Hey, thanks for coming to my wedding. I am your sword and your shield. Thank you. And my house, Carl. Okay, they didn't kill my uh, cow. Let's see if I can get some more chickens. Honor to you, my fame. No. Until next time. So, mental note, don't kill the chickens. I'm afraid to kill the cow, too, because then she might not buy me another cow. Like, you're just going to kill the cow. It's like, so? Like, I'm trying to survive, man. we got to eat to live. Got to eat to live. Okay, I do have an upgrade, too, and I'm going to have to sleep before I enchant my gear. That way I can get the full bonus. Alright, first things first, we got ebony, we got steel, we need some leather strips. Alright, so we'll make her the carved armor. Yep. We need Quicksilver, one, two, three Quicksilver. I hope I have it, I don't wanna make a run back. I'm pretty sure I do though. All right, Quicksilver, ah, oh, sweet. We only need three, I think. We'll take four for good luck. And I got some Quicksilver ore too. It's just I think it takes Quicksilver and uh, steel to make Nordic arrows. So 
So we got the armor, so here's the boots. Gauntlets, helmet. All right, let's make some uh, kind of need, what is it? Okay, that's for enchanting. We're gonna need to make a smithing potion. I know it's glowing mushrooms is one of them. So we'll just make two of these. What was the other thing? Snowberries? No, that's for enchanting. Oh, I think it's one of the mushrooms. I don't think it's for a blister wart. I think it is. All right. So we'll grab this. This is also our smithing gear and our alchemy stuff. So then we're going to need another six. So blue butterfly wings and snowberries will make us our enchanting stuff. Six of those, and then we need to make an axe. We'll give her the battle axe. Or I guess I could give her the great sword. We drink to our youth. Today's come and gone. The war hammer? No, I like the axe. Of aggression is just about done. Drive out the storm cloaks and restore what we own. Hey. Need something. Play the flute. I am trained in the three. You're a connoisseur indeed. I am. Not many appreciate the subtle beauty of the flute. Don't go too far now, honey. So let's see. We've got all our potions. Let's go ahead and sleep. I wonder if I'll get the bonus. I'm pretty sure. She doesn't need to actually be in the house to get the bonus. And I can't even remember what it does. No, she won't. Don't say that. Okay, so we do have our extra point. So we are going to put it into this conjuration. That way we can uh, soul trap. Wait, do I want to do that? I mean, I technically don't have Azura Star yet. Now we're doing it. Because if I don't do it now, it's going to suck. Because that's what we're going to do after this. Oh, you did get the bonus. So let's see what Leverage Comfort. I think it gives you like a 15% boost on all your skills. There you go. And there's also like a Standing Stone that does that too. It's good to see you again, dear. Hey, anything, has the store made any money? We've made a bit of gold. Here, love. This is your Hundred dollars. You mind cooking something for yeah. me? Wouldn't want you going into a fight on an empty stomach. Oh I'll yeah. I'll have another meal ready tomorrow. Bye, love. Um, so technically, I haven't eaten anything. I haven't killed. But this is different, right? I mean, it's a home-cooked meal. Like, I had to work for this, okay? Long and I gotta listen to, to her. Alright. Alright, we can... Let's go ahead and make the potions here. So let's see, it's gonna be blister wart and glowing mushrooms. Okay, and then, uh... You know, I wanna say small antlers do enchanting also. No, not yet. She will not die. Alright, let's do our smithing, or our enchanting. Alright, let's see if we can upgrade this sun's guns. Let's see, there's five pieces that I need to upgrade, so I'm thinking five quicksilver. Might be steel, but I'm pretty sure it's quicksilver. She's gonna live forever! 
That's my wife. Hey, and if she does die, um, that'd be my first marriage. I really wanted to marry the that one girl from the... Okay, it is Quicksilver here. So let's make sure it's Quicksilver over here, too. From the Companions. Because she's more like my play style. Because she's an archer, you know? And uh, let's drink this potion. So I got my gear on. The smithing gear. Good. And then drink a smithing potion. And then I can really hook this up here. So I'm make sure you're not tired when you do it. It's going to be pretty close to the cap. Alright, and then we'll drink another potion for this one. Now, 58 damage doesn't really seem like a lot, but she's got two-handed... I can't remember. There's a way to do it, I know, on the computer to see, like, her actual skills. Like, what level she has. Okay, we're going to keep that on. Home-cooked meal. Nice. My wife made that. And I think that's the first time I ate anything I didn't kill. But it's fine, you know? It's fine. That's one of the stipulations. If your wife cooks you a meal, you can eat it. Hey, they didn't knock it over yet. That's nice. That's a good spot to put it. In my dragon claw. Let's see how my gems are doing in here. No one's touched them. Good. We're gonna fill this whole thing. I'm gonna put all the squid or all the flawless stuff on the table. That way, it's just like diamond studded or jewel studded table. I'm gonna have the most expensive table in the game. All right. So Yeah, and well, like, because this whole run I've been doing on survival, I haven't eaten anything, I haven't killed. So that would be the first time I ever ate something I didn't kill. So that was the whole challenge. But, like I said, you know, it's a home-cooked meal for my wife. I had to work for it. Like, I had to go into that dungeon, I had to go get that, that sword of hers. And we're going to throw it away because that sword sucks. But. What is this guy doing here? Like this dude's pissing me Never off. Never seen me old this upset about anything. The city really gets to her. Like she, he's, she's not your roommate anymore. So I didn't have these. Very good. And then I thought I did have the restoration one. I guess not. I just destroyed my wedding ring. Who does that? Blessing of Mara. And then fortify restoration. I think that's the same thing, isn't it? Oh, okay. So it does more. That's cool. That must be something new. Okay, so 31. Yeah, so one gives you 25 and one gives you 31. That's pretty neat. Pretty good stuff, man. Alright, so what's the first thing? We're going to upgrade this Nordic Battle Axe. Okay, this is going to go to... Uh, My wife here, so let's give her probably like absorb health and absorb stamina. That way she doesn't get killed by a giant. That'd be funny, like the first time we go out, 
she just dies. That would be so heartbroken. It's like, should have just left her at the house, man. All right, so we'll drink a potion. Battle axe. Absorb health. Absorb stamina. Craft it. Oh, yeah. Let's see, we'll rename this to... Uh, Honey gear? <laughs> yeah. Alright. So let's see the next set. The armor. Let's see what I can give her. I guess maybe... Health and stamina, probably. Yeah, let's go with health and stamina. So it takes one potion for every time you do this. And I probably should have saved before I did it, just in case I screw this up. So we'll give her the health bonus and the stamina bonus. So the boots, I think I can give them the carry weight, yeah. Carry weight and then probably like two-handed attacks will be better. Let's do that. I could give her the stamina one, but no, let's do that one. I kind of like to stack them up, you know, to be honest. And then I should probably make myself another bow. So let's see, carry weight. Two-handed attacks. All right, and then the uh, gauntlets, probably the same thing. Two-handed and carry weight. Oh, you know what? I need to make her a necklace and a ring. Yeah, she's going to be a badass. Who's not going to die? To a giant. All right, and then the feet, oh, the helm. I think the helm, you can only give them, like, magic stuff. Yeah. Um, hmm. You can't give them the Blessing of Mara. So maybe I'll just do, because I know she does archery too, sometimes. So maybe just archery and magic, or lockpicking at least. But I don't know if she can lockpick. But I know she doesn't use magic. I think I could actually have her pick a lock. Just we'll have to find out. Even though technically I wouldn't want her because I want the the skill bonus. Now hopefully she wears this thing. I'm pretty sure she does. I wonder if Aaron's still here. Like what the hell is this guy doing, man? Like go home. This ain't your house. Never dude. seen me old this upset about anything. 
the city. Be careful. It's good to see you again, dear. I'm right behind you. I'm gonna have to get him killed I'm or something. I'm itching for a fight. See, now he takes off. No problem. I can carry a good bit of gear. So, let's see. We will take... All this stuff. Yeah, let's just, we're going to sell all this stuff. We'll give her a couple of healing potions, but not that one. We'll have to keep that stuff. Okay, so... Look at that. Nice. There she is. All set. Let's go. Nice. Now I'm not sure. All right. Well, let's make a uh, a ring and a necklace for her. I love. And I guess we'll there. probably just do. Should have enough in here. Some ring. Uh oh. It's okay, well that's not a problem. Let's see, I think I might even have yeah I do. She had an emerald necklace on her. Perhaps Alright, so now I got Smith. Because of my Nord blood, but there's something about it that we're going to need one more gear, or one more enchanting potion. I think I have two on, or one on me. Makes me feel alive. fall off so let's make sure we can put I'm pretty sure we can carry weight oh I can't oh good you can't okay carry weight and then no two-handed there we go Got the necklace, let's make her a ring now. Guess we'll give her the ruby ring, right? Carry weight and two handed. Now she's going to do some damage. Where'd you go? No problem. I can carry a good bit of gear. Dang right you can. Going to carry even more gear with this stuff. Right, make no sure problem. she equipped them. I can carry a good bit of gear. Good, she did. 
Yeah, so that's going to give her, let's see, 43 times 4. So over 120 more carry weight. No, 160 more. And then, you know, all those have two handed damage increases. So she's going to be a badass. Trinkets, odds and ends, that sort of thing. And then she's also a vendor, too. But I think when she runs out of the money, like it never comes back. Unless I, like, leave her here, right? I think that's kind of how it works. All set. Let's go. Okay, so... I guess I can still roll with the Airstream. You know, I was thinking about making another one. But I like the paralysis one, but I really want the stamina one because absorb health and absorb stamina. That would seem like it's a little bit better. <clears throat> and we'll leave the Grim Sever here as a token. That's what I had to work for to get married here. Oh, uh, what the hell was that? There we go. That's your sword. Look at her. What a badass. See, that's a cool set of armor, too. I don't know if she has to deal with the warmth, either, but... The Nordic armor also gives you uh, the full warmth bonus, too. All right, let's go drop this stuff off here. Give her some. Uh... I'm itching for a fight. No problem. I can carry a good bit of gear. We'll give her some health potions here. Oh crap! I probably should make some more too. And then, huh? I wonder if I should make her like a two-handed potion. All set. Let's go. I better make some more health potions. I love the cold there. All right, that's gonna be blue mountain flower. Wow, we're almost out. I guess let's make eleven. Blue mountain flower, lavender. And wheat. I don't think I've ever it's run out of blue man flower. Perhaps it's because of my Nord blood, but there's something about it that makes me feel alive. I'm sure. Yeah, we gotta. We either can go. Well, that stuff is so prevalent, like everywhere. I'm sure I can just find some on our next travel here. But if I needed to, I can always. You ready? I can always just plant some over here and then the next time I get back, you know, you, pl you plant it in every single one, right? That's why I got all the lavender. And then you'll come out with like 50 or 60 or even 100.
I need another potato. I'm sure, there's one around here somewhere. Oh, good. I had some leaks in there. Let's drop off. So I don't need to carry that many. All right. I'm itching for a fight. No problem. I can carry a good bit of gear. And I'm also going to give her some some wine, you know, because she is married to me, so she might need some to ease off, you know. All set. Let's go. ease off the regret and the shame. She's like, I didn't really think about this. All right, let's go. Doing the book of love quest. So now that we got a brand new companion here, let's get on the horse and just leave her ass, right? I think she'll catch up, you know. Okay, we are kind of, wouldn't say overloaded, but Well, all the rest of the stuff we're going to sell anyway, so. I kind of feel bad just taking off without her. Okay, fine. No horse. That way she stays behind me, you know. Okay, we got to put on the amulet of Mara. Okay, and then now we got to go. Let's just put the marker on the... Okay, so right there, it's kind of right next to the broken fang. Because I don't want to really have to carry it if I don't have to. And you don't have to, you just got to have it on when you get close. So, let's mark this thing in the map. It's right here somewhere. Well, a little bit more up, that's fine. Alright, let's go. Don't get killed by a giant. She's kind of a badass. I mean, look at her. Damn. All right, let's see if she goes for a swim. I think she does. Well, she looks like she sinks to the bottom. She might drown. First time out, lose my wife. All right, let's warm up a little bit by the fire. Isn't this romantic? By the fire. Don't mind that guy. He doesn't say much. Alright, let's go. Isn't it cool how your torch just goes away? What's that? I think that's the lover's stone right there. But you know, now that I don't know if it kind of works, like if I go to sleep in the inn, do I still get the bonus? I'm kind of interested to see that. Yeah, she's usually pretty good about keeping up. If not, I think she runs back to the house. And then I guess after this, we'll have to go get the Azura Star, because now I can trap souls with my new ability on my bound bow.
So once we get this, this is the last part of the Book of Love quest. So once we get it, we're going to be pretty... I wouldn't say invincible, but... We're going to be able to handle magical attacks. Oh, crap. Where are you going? Don't go too far now. Don't go too far now. Oh yeah. We get to eat for another day. Okay, I think she's gone. She took off. Like I said, she had second doubts. Maybe she popped a couple of cases of the wine open. She's like, I don't know what I was thinking. I had a nice place in Riften. Yeah, she's definitely not going to do this. But that's fine. She'll catch up, you know? Maybe. There's the Khajiit. It's good, because I can sell him some stuff while I'm here. I think they don't actually have to be at their place in order to buy, but I can't remember which one it is. Welcome to you. I think it's this one. Don't need no? something. This one? Khajiit is just a gun. Need some. There we go. Take a look. Alright, so we will buy all your moon sugar. There's something I use that for. I don't remember what it is now. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Buy all the soul gems, and I think that's about it. Let's see if they got that one necklace I've been waiting for. Because it's only a necklace. That gives you better prices. And then I'm already pretty sure I got all those. Alright, so, let's give him the battle axe. Tunic, help, silver ring, let's sell off our wedding ring. I didn't know you can disenchant it, that's kind of cool. Those potions are awesome. So we got a thousand left. So what are we gonna sell here? Give him a tip, hundred dollar tip. Yeah, it's fine. I can make those all day. Thank you for your business, sir. There she is. She scared a deer over here. blue mountain flower too and now our bound bow if I had any soul gems that weren't filled will uh, now fill up soul gems say See, I don't know if she has like interesting stuff to say but one of the most dangerous What do we got here? Oh, Death Hound? Oh crap, that means there's a vampire right next to them. Let's put on our our gear that actually has armor to it. The dog meat you can't cook for some reason. Alright, so we got two red dots over here. See another death hound. Let's switch to our bow. And I should probably do some healing real quick. Yeah, the giant could hold his own. He doesn't need me. Oh, it's only Death Hound, huh? 
All right, we'll leave him be. He had a, he had a rough night, you know. I guess they already killed the vampire. And that one lose my my newly acquired wife here to uh, a giant attack, right? I don't think she'll die. I really don't. First blue mountain flower. Okay, we're getting kind of close to where we need to be, so uh, yeah, let's go ahead and put on our amulet of Mara. Knock out this quest. I think the first part of it's like right here, and the next part, I don't think it's too far. I think it's like up here somewhere. <laughs> and then we'll be done. We'll get our 15% resistance to magic. On top of our Lord Stone, which makes it 40%. And I think the cap, uh oh. Be cool. I think if I cast my bound bow, I'll scare him off. <sighs> Alright. Thanks for not scaring me away. Bonus, and I got my bow back, or my arrow. This kind of looks blue, but I guess they are purple. Alright, here's the beginning of it. Oh, is that Luna Mall? No. I guess we can get some more of this stuff because probably gonna need some more potions. Cause these mud crabs, they make an awesome potion. That's kind of a resist all. Wow, oh, there's a bunch of them too. Look at that, what a badass. Get him! Don't hit her. You want the last hit? Yeah. Get him. But the only thing that sucks about the legs is you need butter. And I've spent this whole game. When I drew Green Sever, I think the poor man soiled his armor. Good one. Nice one, honey. See, and she doesn't complain either. Like, most of the companions that you have in the game complain about everything. Okay, we made it to the first part of the Book of Love quest. We're going to take five. We will be back. Um, looks like we got a brand new day. Brand new day ahead of us. We'll see you in a minute. Thanks for watching, everybody.